Hello, so this is a what's in my bag video which I saw originally um, I think it's I definitely saw it in Lynn's channel Nana M's but I think I saw it first at What Julie Loves. So if you haven't seen it, I'm not affiliated. This isn't a collaboration. Um, I'm just doing this video on my own. But Julie did say, you know, she had to give a bit of a call out to other YouTubers to start a trend. And I thought I would share what's in my handbag, which is very little. So hello, my name's Re. Um, welcome to this channel if you're new here and welcome back to my lovely subscribers. So as you know, if you're a regular on this channel, is that I walk a lot. I try and get my 10,000 steps in every day. So I've always got flats or comfy shoes on and I just sort of walk out the door, walk into town. It's 20, 25 minutes to walk there have a coffee, have a mooch and walk back and I try to do that a lot. I've got my 10,000 steps in now every day for at least a year so it is a focus. So hence, there is a reason that I'm saying this, hence I generally use very small handbags. I don't want to be carrying a lot because my focus is on my health and my well-being um, so I use a small handbag. I don't really need much. Also, I'm petite, so a smaller bag looks a little bit better. So I will show you what I have in them. I'll show you my handbag first. So recently, I've been using probably about three handbags. So these are my regular handbags. This is a relatively new one. It's from Pavers. It's got a removable strap. Um, it's got... You can see the size of it, it's not very big. It's crossover, it's got a couple of pockets in it. I've got some tissues in there. What's in there? So it's got a couple of pockets in it. This is a regular at the moment. I've got some different straps. So I've got this one here, a green one. So they're interchangeable, can use it with different outfits. I also, I also use this blue one quite a lot. Again, it's got the removable strap so I can interchange them. Um, it's just got the little buckle on there. And this has got one pocket tissues in there already and a little side pocket there. Got a little bit of cash in. And this is another regular, again, removable strap. Um, this one I think is probably the smallest, but it has got a couple of pockets in, a little zip pocket there. So you can see I'm not going to get much in my handbags, but in every handbag I have a pack of tissues. One, because if I'm out and go to the loo, you always need your tissues, don't you, just in case. But also, you know, if I've got a runny nose or my makeup or as soon as I if I start walking a bit faster I've always got a runny nose so yeah need my tissues and essential of course is my phone I'm filming on my phone but I've got the case here and in the case I have a minimal amount so I've got my let's make sure it's not visible to the whole of the internet I've got there my debit card I've got my credit card behind that. I've got my National Trust membership and I haven't got much else in. I think it might be um, oh my volunteer card for the National Trust because it gives me a bit of a discount. And I've got a loyalty card for one of the local cafes that I go to a couple of times a week. So that's all in there. My other cards, loyalty cards, boots cards, um, I just keep them in another handbag, a bigger handbag. So if I'm going shopping, I might take that slightly bigger handbag. It's not much bigger. <laughs> or I might take the cards out and pop them in with one of these. But on a day-to-day -day basis, this is all I'll have. I will generally have a little bit of money in the side pocket. Oh, there's none in there. There will be in this blue one, which I used yesterday. So 
a little bit of cash just in case i think there's 15 pounds in here and i like to keep a couple of coins that's because at the art club that i go to um we give a donation for tea and coffee so it's 50p so i've generally got you know a pound sometimes a double art or you know a bit of change in there or 20p for the toilets um and always a bit of notes just in case and my glasses so these are reading glasses i need those i need to fit that into a bag and i also always wear sunglasses but in some of these bags it's a bit of a push to, to put both pairs of glasses in but then i think i don't need to because if i'm out i've got my sunglasses on and if i'm in i'm going to be maybe looking at the menu and got my reading glasses or i just put my sunglasses on the top of my head so i don't worry about that too much most of them I can get both pairs of glasses in. So, summarise. My phone, my glasses, tissues and cash. And that is almost it. Apart from one essential, have I got it here? Um, I've got these. Now, I always take these and I transfer them from bag to bag, whichever one I'm using. They're just little Bluetooth ear pods. And they go... If I, I don't know if you can see this don't actually go in the ear they go on the side there so it doesn't they fit really easily uh, I can walk around with them you can't really see that I've got them on they don't stick in my ear so they're more hygienic they're cleaner and they've got you know they're really good so if I'm walking get my I didn't quite have it in properly then so it sort of sits on the edge of your ears it, it doesn't squeeze, it's not tight, but, it, you know, it's a really good fit. And I've got these from Amazon. They've got them in different colours. Um, I think they've got them in flesh colour, white. Um, I've got these ones at the moment. I think they were around about £20. So I can plug them in to charge them. It's got the little, you know, they're 86%, is it 86%? charged at the moment they're easy to carry lightweight in that case they bluetooth with my phone so when i'm walking i can listen to a pod or i can listen to a book on audible and i do that a lot you know if i haven't got my steps in and even and i think oh i'll walk around the block sort of a 20 minute walk or half an hour walk and i would listen to my book so you know two birds with one stone and then if I am thinking that I might do a little bit of shopping and pick something up, I've got this little fold away bag there. It's got a little zip on. It opens up really nicely. Quite a decent size bag. And someone bought me this as a present and I use it all the time. Easy to fold up and put back in the pouch. Now this doesn't fit in all my bags hence I've got the sort of caribou on it so that I can clip it on the edge so I'll put some things in one of the bags so that you can see so let's do this one so more than likely I will have my glasses on or on my head um, I've got the tissues and the money in already so it would be my phone Oh, that's my phone. Don't go anywhere without my phone. My glasses. I'll have the ear pods in, but I will have the case in there. And that's it. That's full luck. Now, you could fit in a bit of a lipstick. could fit in some Vaseline. Generally, I don't take that with me. And I will close it. So if I'm going shopping, this is the empty packet now, but you get the idea. I will clip that on there like that so there's my bag and that will hang down from there and that's what i take hardly anything and again i'll put it in this one because this is i think the smallest one just to show you phone don't go anywhere without our phones do we what did we do before tissues there's a few tissues already. There's a few tissues in the front already. Glasses. I can fit my sunglasses in this one as well, actually. So maybe it's slightly bigger than the other one. And um, earpods. Earpods can go in the front. So there we go. 
covers up. Bob's your uncle, you don't need all these things, do you? <laughs> Put in the comments below what you have in your handbag. I know watching other YouTubers, you know, they carry quite a lot of things and I'm quite a minimalist, I think. So be interested to know what you say. Oh, by the way, if you're still here, while we're on the subjects of bags, I bought this little one from this little one. It's a shopper stroke beach bag from Primark. Now I was looking for quite a while. I was looking in um, the charity shops. I thought, oh, you know, sometimes you get new bags in charity shops as well, don't you? Or some decent ones. But no, they were either used quite a lot or the new ones were more expensive than this. This was, I think, £9 from Primark. Um, it's lined inside. It's got a zip at the top, which is brilliant. It's not too big. It's got these straps, black straps here. There's a little pocket on the side as well. So yeah, I was looking, I looked in Peacocks. I looked at a few places and they were a lot more expensive than this. I think the average seemed to be about £16 to 25 So when I saw this one, they had a plain one as well, which was nice. So I think with sort of tan straps, I was going to say leather straps, but I don't think they're leather. But you know what I mean, the leather look. And I just thought that this was really lovely. Great to go on holiday with, great to do a bit of shopping. Good to travel, can you say? If I was traveling, you know, this would be a nice little hand luggage bag. Again, I don't tend to take much, but you could take it as hand luggage and it would double up as a little beach bag when you're away. So I thought I would show you that while we're on the topic of handbags. So thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. It makes a big difference to me. It's a small YouTube channel. So hopefully see you again. Bye.